Hello students, today we are going to see about properties in Z transform. So, today we are going to see about conjugation property, differentiation property and multiplication by a power n in Z transform. So, first property is conjugation property. Conjugation property is given by Z transform of x star of n is equal to x star of z star. So, star indicates it is conjugation here. So, we know this is the general formula in the Z transform. So, Z transform of x of n is given by summation n equal to minus infinite to infinite. Here, whatever you have x of n that you have to write as it is into z power minus n. This is the Z transform formula. So, whenever you have the term like this, you can rewrite this term as this. For example, small x of n you have. So, small x you can write it as capital X and then leave your power minus n. Okay, Whatever the base available, you have to write within the functional value that, that is nothing but z. So, this concept you can use whenever we are proving the property. So, whenever you have here z transform of any term, that term you have to write here after the summation into z power minus n and whenever you have the term like this, this you can rewrite it as small x, you can write it as capital X. So, z power minus n, leave power minus n, whatever the base available here, you have to write within the functional value which is nothing but z. Okay. So, using this concept, let us derive the conjugation property. So, the left hand side is z transform of x star of n. Okay. So, generally how will you write summation n equal to minus infinite to infinite whatever you have here write as it is x star of n okay, into z power minus n. Okay. So, whatever you have here write as it is into z power minus n and generally we in the formula we have x of n into z power minus n. right? So, first let us convert this term as x of n. Okay. To convert this term as x of n, what I have to do? Take star outside. So, whenever you have conjugation property, your first step you have to take star outside. Okay. So, take star outside. Star is nothing but conjugation. Okay. So, summation n equal to minus infinite to infinite. Whenever you take star outside, this term will just become x of n and z will become z star ok power minus n like this you can rewrite that term ok. So, whenever you have conjugation property take star outside as the first step. So, what happens summation there is no change x of n x star of n will become x of n z will become z star ok. What do you mean by that you are taking star outside means the conjugation ok you are taking the conjugation outside. So, uh, already the conjugation is there, it, it, it is you are removing. So, here you do not have any conjugation, there you are going to apply. Like that you have to rewrite your expression. So, what do you mean by that? When you take star inside, this term will become x star of n. When you take star inside, star and star get cancelled, this term will become just z. Okay, That is the meaning. So, take star outside. So, normal term, Okay, you have to, that is a z term will become z star, x star of n will become x of n. So, once you have written this only one step, okay, you can prove the property. So, now compare this thing with this. Okay. So, it is similar to this term. Okay. Your small x you can write it as capital X and you are leaving the minus n power minus n outside and whatever you have base that you are writing here. Similarly, leave power minus n whatever the base available you can write it as x of z star ok. So, this term I can write it as small x will become capital X leave power minus n whatever the base available write within the functional value which is nothing but z star and actually this whole term power you have star outside ok. So, this will become now. So, generally you know that for example, if you have x of n ok the whole cube how will you write you can write it as x cube of n ok similarly the functional value it will now it is in functional value functional value will not affected by the power value. So, take star inside now it becomes x star of 
z star okay don't change your functional value okay so how we have written here x of n the whole cube is x cube of n similarly x of z star you can write it as x star of z star okay so this is nothing but your right hand side so your next property is differentiation property in z domain which is also called as multiplication by n why it is called as differentiation property in z domain because right hand side in the z domain the differentiation is available and it is also called as multiplication by n why because x of n is multiplied by n so two names are there for this property okay since you have differentiation here okay let us take your right hand side and we we can prove your left hand side okay so whenever you have differentiation term take the differentiation term and try to prove the property okay so left hand side also since i have minus z and all you just leave okay let us consider only the term okay differentiation term let us consider only the differentiation term and we will try to prove the property so consider d by dz x of z okay so d by dz what is x of z x of z is this term okay so this whole term is x of z just substitute that value so x of z is summation n equal to minus infinite to infinite x of n z power minus n okay so once you have done this try to differentiate this term so here this summation we have only n term that is it is like constant you can take outside x of n is also not affected by differentiation why because differentiation is with respect to z so these two terms are like constant you can take outside d by dz this will affect only the z power minus n just rewrite your expression like this so summation n equal to minus infinite to infinite x of n differentiate this term okay d by dz z power minus n is what minus n z power minus n minus 1 okay so this is, this is the differentiation term okay so this you can again split it as summation n equal to minus infinite to infinite okay so just i am rewriting the expression n you can write as it is x of n and you have minus 1 okay so n x of n i am writing remaining term is what minus 1 and z power minus n i can have as it is so this term you are splitting as two terms z power minus n into z power minus 1 like this you can rewrite okay so what is the left hand side left hand side is d by dz x of z okay so now what are all the remaining terms okay you have here that you can take to the left hand side okay or else what you can do actually what is the property minus z d by dz x of z if you want you can multiply by minus z in both in the right hand side and left hand side such that you can prove your property okay so now d by dz x of z is this term okay let us multiply by minus z in both the left hand side and right hand side so minus z d by dz x of z is what summation n equal to minus infinite to infinite n x of n okay already you have one minus 1 z power minus n z power minus 1 this term is multiplied by minus z okay so minus and minus get cancel z power minus 1 and z get cancel why because z power plus 1 so these two term get cancel it is looking like just summation n equal to minus infinite to infinite n x of n z power minus n okay so now just compare this term with this okay so whenever you have summation n equal to minus infinite to infinite x of n z power minus n this how you are writing z transform of x of n similarly this term how i can write this is z transform of n x of n correct so your left hand side has been proved so z transform of n x of n how we can write summation n equal to minus infinite to infinite n x of n z power minus n okay so this is your right hand side this is your left hand side you have proved your property so for differentiation you should consider the differentiation term and try to prove 
once you have done that whatever you have additional term you multiply with that both in the left hand side and right hand side and you can prove your property ok. So, coming to the next property it is multiplication by a power n ok it is very simple why it is multiplication by a power n we are multiplying x of n by a power n ok previous property is multiplication by n here it is multiplication by a power n. So, take your left hand side z transform of a power n x of n is given by summation n equal to minus infinite to infinite whatever the term available here write as it is a power n x of n and that is multiplied by z power minus n. So, once you have done that you can rewrite this expression as summation n equal to minus infinite to infinite generally in the formula you have x of n first right. So, write x of n first and what you have to take power minus n outside ok whatever the base available we have to find out take minus n outside. So, this term will become what a power minus 1 because a power minus n into minus n will become a power plus n ok. So, take minus n outside this term will become a power minus 1 this term will become z ok. So, just rewrite this expression like this. So, once you have done that compare this and this ok your small x will become capital X leave power minus n. So, leave power minus n whatever the base available you write within the braces as a functional value. So, it is x of a inverse z which is nothing but your right hand side ok. So, like this you can in only one or two steps you can prove your property. So, whatever the term you have write as it is take power minus n outside this term will become a inverse this term will become z that is all. So, this is nothing but x of a inverse z ok. Thank you, thanks for watching.